This video was brought to you by Stoenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Beal. heck was that shit <laughs> no it's just i guess mercedes they just wanted to spice up things it sounds like a spaceship or a freaking video game but okay anyway let's look at the look at the real sheet the google sheet so um acceleration test it was actually slightly faster in the eqs wow and look here so 4.2 seconds is faster than spec and if you scroll over here a little bit you see that um, the eqs weighs more 120 kilograms more and the EQS has more power so these cars are pretty neck on neck and uh, I guess when you get in the low four second then uh, it feels uh, fast so uh, you go well you see EQS was even with Nukian tires I guess if you put on some uh, summer tires would be better and you see EQS has 21 inch but yeah and then um, as for braking you see here um very good also you see we have fat uh a wicking whale this, oh this is the heaviest car Wait, is it the heaviest? Oh yeah, yeah, it is the heaviest car ever tested. But look how well it does it. I guess the Yokohama are sticky tires and also it helps that you have fat tires here, 265, 295, versus Tesla's. They do it poor, poor, poorer because they don't have that fat tires. They have a, they, they choose um, like a, a balance between efficiency and, and uh, performance. Um, so yes, and then the last thing I wanna show is noise. Look at this, wow. It is so quiet. Um, so the EQC just beat it because in general uh, crossovers SUVs they have more um, they have more suspension wears uh, they know, suspension uh, travel and in general they will soak up uh, road noise better. And you see that yeah, it's tires oh, okay slightly uh, narrower tires that also helps because fat tires tend to kind of you know have a bigger contact to the road but this is really good man mercedes they dominate this uh, and uh, however i should point out that um i ix was also actually um neck on neck at least with the ix and the i and, and the eqe here i started testing on the left lane which is slightly smoother than the right lane and the right lane was getting worn down but then this one here the e-tron 55 was done on the right lane roughly one two years ago i don't remember but then back then okay it wasn't that rough so uh, uh i would say that um e-tron 55 with acoustic glass is probably a neck on neck with the, the amg here roughly but at one point you know we have to change lane because otherwise it will be just worse and worse until they slap down new ass fault on that uh, lane but yeah so what should i say um the 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 amg or i just call it but the the, the eqe is a fast car it's a comfortable car and it also uh, a quite safe car all that stuff that i test now it scores really really good so nice 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 yes so anyway i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later